So in the last episode, we talked about tip it and why those little things matter. And that was kind of the prep part of it. I want to talk today about little things to pay attention to on the water with your tippet as you go. And I'm just going to talk about two or three different things, uh, common mistakes that I've had to work through, common mistakes uh, that I see when I work with people out in the water. So the tippet is your vital link, right? It's what connects your leader, your line, your fly. It's what allows you to actually get that fish to your net. And so a couple things that you need to be aware of when you're on the water, especially as you get into the day. So number one, if you've gotten into several fish, it's a good thing every once in a while to take, just take your index finger and your thumb and right above where you tied that fly on, run your finger and your thumb over the tippet that connects right to the fly. If that feels rough at all or abraded from those little teeth in the trout's mouth, then take the extra 30 seconds, take a minute, stop, cut off the ruck section, and retie the fly where you want it. That's gonna maintain that strength in your leader. Um, another thing, depending on where you're fishing, I know in Wyoming we have a lot of vegetation around a lot of the streams that I fish, especially the backcountry freestone stuff. And throughout the day, regardless of what quality of angler you are, you may get stuck from time to time in the bushes. Um, some of us, me included at times, have that habit of just kind of looking at it, wiggling it, and maybe ripping it out of the vegetation if it doesn't look like it's back in there too far. And that's fine. It's not necessarily a bad thing. But what you need to be really aware of is if that tippet or that leader has rubbed or touched maybe the stem of a bush or even the rough edge of a leaf, it can also create a weakness. So if you do that, if that's how you end up having to retrieve your fly, you need to pause, stop, and pay attention to that little thing. You take your index finger and your thumb, run it along the length of the leader and the tippet, and fill for those rough spots and give it a look. Um, the extra minute or two minutes that it might take to either stop, you know, cut it out, blood knot that section together, or put on a new leader and new tippet is going to be the difference between being able to land a really significant fish and losing that significant fish. Um, the last thing that I would add with tippet is kind of based on your knots. Um, take your time. There's nothing wrong if you sit down and you tie a knot and that knot doesn't look good to cut it out and to retie it again. Um, big, big problem with rushing through knots is that a lot of times they don't quite get cinched down just right. Or maybe you were a little off with your wraps. It's another link in that chain. Don't be afraid just to slow down, take a big deep breath, make sure that knot is rock solid. So then when it comes to it, it's going to perform the way that you want it to. Once again, as I said in the first episode, this is really all about building successful habits. Successful angler, anglers are the result of successful habits. Just like in life, successful people are usually a build-up or a combination of puzzle of successful habits. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to hit me up off of Instagram. You can message me. You can also get me on my website at www.thinairangler.com. Have a great day.